far. So, what I want to do is start my campaign with um, a battle between two opposing forces of allies and French. And what I will have are two commanders. So we will have the French General, General Marmont, who will be facing the Duke of Brunswick um, with their forces on this terrain, which I have already set up. Um, if I will just move on to the next part. So the campaign is set in the Low Countries, Holland and Belgium, and it begins with three invasion forces moving north. Um, one along the coast, one in the centre, and one in the east. They will each be led by three different corps commanders. And we will see how far they progress towards their objectives, which will be to take the capitals at Antwerp and Amsterdam and any other major town along the way. But of course, what they will be facing will be an allied um, defence force as well, who are, will be either occupying these towns or nearby towns and will endeavour to intercept the three northern forces moving towards the capitals. Um, so the men that the Allies will have will be garrisoned in various towns and the Allied commander's lot is to get enough men together at short notice moving along the roads or even possibly down rivers to oppose the invasion force. So that's what we should be doing. So on the coastal invasion route the commander has got as far as Newport on the coast here which would be heading towards the objective of Ostend. Now Ostend is going to be important because that would enable supplies to be brought in by sea. So the objective is to brush aside any forces holding or around about Newport and then head towards Ostend. So unfortunately for the French commander there is a force of equal size to his just outside Newport and that is the battle that is about to take place. So the field of battle that is going to be used is the outskirts of the town here. There's the main road heading towards Ostend here and there's a small wood here. There will be some fields and rough terrain dotted around but I haven't put those down as yet. So now what I've got to do is decide where the forces are going to start and I'm going to do that by rolling a dice. The French force will have a battery of artillery, they will have a unit of dragoons, four units of line infantry and a unit of lancers led by General Marmont. The Allied forces will be led by the Duke of Brunswick who will have two units of hussars four units of infantry and again a battery of artillery and that are the opposing forces so what I'm going to do now is actually position them on the map using the map that I have here using dice roll. Okay so if I score a one or a two they will be placed on what will be the Allies right wing three or four in the centre, five and six on the left. So the first unit that is going to be placed is the artillery. So they are going to go in the centre. Okay. Next unit is the 1st Regiment or Squadron of Hussars, and they are also going to be in the centre. Next unit 
are on the left. And the infantry are going to be on the right. Next infantry are on the left. Next infantry on the right. And the final unit of infantry, let's hope they're in the centre, but we shall see. And they're on the left. So we have two units of infantry on the right, the artillery and hussars in the centre, and some hussars and two units of infantry on the left. So that's quite interesting. So we'll see how the opposition pan out as I make these adjustments to the map. So that will be the disposition of the Allied forces, so you can see I have placed the two units of infantry here, um, next to the town, the Hussars in reserve, backing up the artillery in the centre. Well, clearly they're blocking the road by putting their artillery in the centre, which is a nice way of doing it. And we have two units of infantry there, and taking the potential left wing. Here are the other unit of Hussars. Now one thing I did forget to say is that both of these units will have um, some skirmishes as well. So we will have the 95th for the Allies and we'll have some Voltigeurs for the French. So those will be placed in front of the units as well as the battle starts. So now let's figure out where the French are going to be. Let's start with the artillery, and they're going to be in the centre, which is fairly apt. Next, the one regiment of infantry is going to be on their right wing. Next unit of infantry is also on the right. Next unit of infantry is also on the right. And the next unit of infantry is in the centre, on the road. The dragoons will be also on the right. Very heavily on the right here. Is there going to be no one on the left? We shall see with this last roll. And they're also on the right, so very heavily weighed to the right wing of the French. So let's mark those dispositions out on the field. Now bear in mind that um, both generals have set up their force. The French have arrived, so that also means they can manoeuvre now that they've reached the field. So just because they start off in these positions does not mean that the initial parts of the battle will not involve some movement so these are the initial dispositions. The French line infantry have set out in col um, yes, column formation rather than line which the Allied forces are there because the Allies' job is to prevent the French moving north and the French job is to move north. So they will be in column because they will be assaulting we have the French cavalry on the wing here, outnumbering the Allied cavalry. These, this cavalry in the centre could go for the guns, but they have some extra infantry behind here. These guys could manoeuvre towards the guns as well. So we have the Allies are outnumbered on their left wing, but unopposed on the right. So. That is going to be the starting positions, so I will now set those out on the field. French right, we have a trusted commander um, who is in charge of leading the assault. And he has his two units of cavalry and the three columns of infantry 
under his command. So a lot depends on his decisions along the front we have. The voltage is strung out in a skirmish line and on the road in the centre. We have the general himself and the column of infantry and the artillery in front. So the Allies have set out with two infantry battalions, one behind the other to the right of the road, the artillery and hussars are in the centre, or just off the centre, and again we have two battalions of Allied infantry on the British or Allied left. So we've got the Brunswickers behind the North Gloucesters there, and we've got the Hussars on the, on the extreme flank, and that's who they've got to face. So if I just zoom in, we will see it. So there's plenty of room for manoeuvre over here, um, if that's required. And I'm set to go. What I made uh, recently, or completed last night, was some artillery markers, so I shall be using those throughout. This is the theatre of operations, so we have the Netherlands in the north, heading down to Belgium in the south, and the French border. On the French border we have five armies ready to invade. This is the army that is heading towards Neuport, Newport, Neuport, where they are met, going to meet, run into the third army of the Allies, who are stationed in Bruges, or Brugge. In Ghent is the first army, in Brussels is the fifth, in Narman is the fifth, and in Bergen the second. We have, well, in Brussels actually, that is a cavalry division. There's also cavalry in. Borglun, Borglun, and in Luke. So various fortresses are <coughs> occupied strategically. So this will be the campaign map that I shall be using and as the armies and divisions move they shall be moved across the map. So these are the initial starting positions. There will be an assault from these two armies will attack here. This army will be heading here and this army will also swing around to assault the fortress. So we'll have three armies converging here. Mon brave, mes enfants, mon ami. Bonjour. Regardez les Anglais, les armées, les Anglais, les roast beef. Ils sont fatigués, ils sont merde, ils sont pathétiques. Mais, mes enfants, vous êtes forts, vous êtes formidables. Vive l'Empereur, vive la France, liberté. Égalité et fraternité.